everyone wants to publish code. And why not? Because it gives you the better exposure, it gives you the better credibility. And that's why in academic corridors, so there is a debate, always a debate, that which journal is having a better uh, credit, say, in comparison to the other, or which is having a better publication record than other one. So the point is that you need good publications, and for that, you need the right sort of information with respect to such journals. We are starting this series where we are going to discuss the top 10 research journals with respect to different domains. We are starting with the Internet of Things, the in short IoT, but we are going to cover the more. But point is that whenever going to research, we are going to have a discussion on the research journals with respect to any domain. There is a uh, debate, means uh, whether a particular kind of metric is going to decide the uh, credibility or the uh, good, this uh, goodness of a particular journal or not. So there are number of metrics which collectively decide the betterness or the kind of credibility of a particular journal over others. But in short, or in common consensus, impact factor is the general notion which people do consider. But as per my understanding, impact factor cannot alone justify the credibility of a particular journal over others. So that's why don't judge a particular journal based on impact factor alone. So let's start uh, all these things we have discussed in our other videos also. If you are interested, you can check them out. So starting with this particular video, we are going to have the first journal that is IEEE Communication Service and Tutorials. This particular journal is offered by IEEE and it is a top-notch journal having an impact factor of 25.249. The site score is 69.4. The quarter length is top-notch and again, the acceptance rate is very low. Don't worry if you are not uh, getting accepted into this particular journal because the competition is very, very tough. Almost every person who is uh, having a sort of academic publishing record uh, once in a lifetime tries for this particular journal. And why not? Because having a single work into this particular journal is almost equal to four or five percent in other journals. So that's why people do try at least a single of their works to come into this particular journal. And uh, impact factor is, uh, alone is not the point. The story is just reverse. That, uh, the papers are so good that uh, people do cite uh, the works of this particular journal so much. And that's why the impact factor is so high. Going further, we have the IEEE transactions on industrial informatics having an impact factor of 11.648, which is quite impressive, and with a cited score of 21.3. Very good. And the quartile ranking is top notch. And again, the acceptance is very low. If you want to get in published into this particular journal, always focus on the industrial aspects. And if your work or manuscript is having some sort of industrial architecture or some industrial technology, the chances of getting published into this particular journal gets better. So why not have industrial exposure? Do include some industrial technology, discuss some the kind of latest uh, APIs or the frameworks which are being used in industrial environments, and you have a better luck. Then we have the IEEE network, which is quite old and the established journal of IEEE with an impact factor of 10.29. The site score is 18.7, which is quite impressive and the quartile ranking is Q1. Again, the acceptance is very low. Don't judge that the, in comparison to IEEE communication and survey, the impact factor is low, so getting accepted might be better. But again, as I told you, impact factor cannot judge the quality of a journal. So give a very good fight to your competitors, then only you can cross the barrier and get accepted into this particular job. Going further, we have the IEEE Internet of Things, and why not? The name itself says that this is the IoT journal. The major focus is on IoT publications. The impact factor is, again, very promising, 10.23. The site score is 17.1. The quartile ranking is top-notch, and the acceptance, again, is very low. Going further, we have the IEEE transactions on mobile computing, this particular transaction started with a focus on mobile computing and the related aspects, but time to time, every journal of the transactions focus gets changed. So I always recommend whenever you go for publishing, go to the homepage of a particular journal or transaction, and then you will find lots of detail related to the current focus of that journal. Then coming on to the metrics, the publisher is IEEE, impact factor is 6.07. Again, it might look very low, but it is very good. Then you have the site score 12.6, quite impressive. Then we have the quarter rank Q1 and the acceptance is very low. Going further, we have the Elsewhere Journal, which is Computer Networks, very old journal and very respectable journal in the field of networks, having an impact factor of 5.49 with the site score 9.3, quarter ranking Q1, and the acceptance is again very low because you need to give a really tough fight to your competitors. Then you have the IEEE transactions on network and service management, in short, TNSM. With an impact factor of 4.758, the site score 7.2, quartile ranking Q1, and the acceptance, again, very low. Write a good manuscript and apply for it. 
then you have the transaction on IEEE transactions on network science and engineering, in short, TNSE, with an impact factor of 5.033, side score is 5.7, quarter ranking is top notch, and acceptance is low. In comparison to the earlier transactions or the journals, this uh, uh, acceptance uh, uh, value is low, means uh, uh, you have a better chance of getting accepted here in comparison to the earlier ones. But it is not always true because, again, it depends on the kind of reviewers that you are getting, the kind of editor you are having, and uh, what sort of work you are focusing on to and all sort of things. If you are having a very new field, then the chances get better. If you are having an old field, then again, you need to give a tough five. Then moving further, you have the feature generation computer system, very well-known general of uh, elsewhere and uh, giving a very good coverage onto the different aspects of feature generation computer systems. The impact factor is quite impressive, which is 7.307, its site score is 18.7, quartile rank is Q1, and acceptance is low. I say that again, again and again, I'm saying impact factor is not the sole consideration because you might wonder that why I put the uh, future uh, computer networks before feature generation computer system, though its impact factor is less in comparison to this 7.307. And the reason is that feature generation computer system focuses on to many survey papers, and that's why increasing impact factor is a totally different story. The publishing houses also employ it, means uh, the different uh, uh, editorial team uh, employ the sort of strategies to improve the uh, impact factor in similar way. The uh, authors also uh, kind of uh, cite their works more just to improve their uh, H index or something like that. So similar way, the journal and the related teams also employ the sort of things. But don't judge the journals on the basis of impact factor, and especially we are discussing based on IoT, so that's why I have kept computer networks before FGCS, though it is also a very good journal. Then moving further, we have the computer communications. Again, you might uh, see a low impact factor. Again, uh, I am going to say it is not like this. There are multiple other journals like ad hoc networks, etc., which are having the good impact factor, but I have put this particular journal before that, because the papers are more related to IoT. Additionally, this the kind of quality you are going to have in computer communications is comparatively good. So the impact factor is 5.047, the site score is 7.8, the quartile ranking is Q1, and the acceptance is comparatively low. So that's all from my side for uh, this uh, particular video. Hope you must have liked it, the kind of details I have provided. If you don't like or you do have some sort of uh, different opinions than mine, then please do comment below and criticize the video and let me know what sort of improvements could be done to improve the quality of future videos. Thanks for watching. Have a learning.